Look at that car. Jeez. Why are you on the wrong side of the road? Hello everybody and welcome to Simulate Gaming. We are in American Truck Simulator today instead of Farm Sim and it's a bit different. But I thought I'd try a one-off video. And we have today purchased a brand new truck. This is our brand new Kenworth Racker. Now as you can see this is literally brand new off the showroom. I got it like two days ago in game. And uh, we still haven't got a paint job on it, so that's one thing we're going to be doing. So by the next video, if I upload one, we should have a paint job on this thing. Right now it's plain white. But we also have our first call out. So what we're going to do is quickly fill up fuel. Now I believe the call is just around the corner. Okay everybody, so we are just heading out now. Now the insurance company said that it was along this road here. So we've already sort of done half the journey. So you guys don't just sit here watching me do all the work by myself. Okay, so we'll head out to this way. So yeah, this is obviously a new video for the channel. This is obviously American Truck Simulator. If you are subscribed to me, let me know what you think about American Truck Simulator as well as Farm Sim. If you do not want it, let me know. If you do want it, let me know. If this is your first video on this channel, then you can also say that you liked it and you want me to do more. So yeah, the insurance company said that the wrecker is somewhere along this road. Not actually sure where it is. So we'll keep an eye out for a truck. The insurance company has already took the trailer away and put it onto the back of a different truck. So we're literally just looking for the cab and I think that's it right there. Okay, yes, that's definitely it. So what we're going to do is slow down here. Okay. So we'll swing it around this way. Let's see if we can back up into this thing. We hit an invisible wall. I hope it's not spawned inside an invisible wall. That would be awkward. Okay, let's try and do this. Now, I'm not very good with reversing with these mirrors. So I'm going to open up these ones instead. Okay, back up nicely. Okay, so it looks like we've got it. Now one thing I do want to show you about this wrecker is the back wheels turn as well. You can see that there. Can you kind of see that there? There we go. See? The back ones turn as well, which is pretty cool. Right, so we do not need the mirrors. Um, how far... Okay, we've got a 16 hour drive, jeez. There's probably going to be a bit of editing on this, because that's a long drive. So the insurance company is, so the insurance company obviously want this in California, which is annoying. So we're just going to go for it. Cheers, buddy! Okay, so let's get this truck back to, in fact, where are we actually going? That's the question. Let's press F6. San Francisco, they want this. God. Well, that's a long way. Right, so we'll get this head. So we'll go ahead and we'll get this truck back to them. There we go. I keep getting confused between which button does split and which one does the range. So yeah, anyway, I thought I would just upload this as a little, um, sort of like a bonus video. It's not going to be replacing farm sim, don't worry. We're still going to get a farm sim. Oh, my wrong side of the road. I was too busy looking for my keyboard then. Uh, but yeah, it's not going to replace any farm sim. It's just in addition to the farm sim stuff. I just really wanted to check out this wrecker because it looked quite cool. What does it look like on the outside? With the truck attached. Pretty good, actually. I need to watch where I'm going, but it's pretty cool. The head tracking's a bit dodgy still, but I'll try and fix that for the next upload. I love Nevada. 70k for miles per hour, sorry. 70 miles per hour, we can do that. This truck is fast. This is the Kenworth W900. It's just got a modified back, which is pretty cool. So when we're not getting any callouts for any wreckers, we can just remove the actual wrecker. But we can just remove the back of it and put on a normal fifth wheel uh, back. 
which is pretty cool. Oh, slow down quicker. I was going way too fast then. Oh. I'll tell you what I really want them to bring out for this game. Not giants, but no one's actually bought a mod either of a box truck. I really want a box truck for this game for some reason. Oh gosh, we're breaking the speed limit. There we go. And it's back to 70 anyway. So yeah, I've really got a thing for box trucks on this game for some reason, so... I have actually been looking into making one myself. Now, I'm not a modeler myself, so what I was thinking of doing was taking a tandem truck mod from Euro Truck and possibly sticking it on the back of a Peterbilt or a Kenworth with Blender, hopefully. That's the plan. But the thing is with American truck mods is a lot of people lock them. A lot of mod authors lock their mods, which is understandable because they spent ages making the mod, but hopefully I can find one that's not locked so we can stick the actual box on the back. Okay, so we're finally on the freeway now. This should be the home straight until we get to San Francisco. Oh, who's that? Julian's give us some income. I only have two other drivers currently working for my company. Oh, shit. Sorry. I was too busy there looking at uh, my driver. I didn't really pay attention. Right, so we have four hours until we have to rest. Uh, we've got ten hours remaining of the journey. So what I'm going to do, actually, is just pull into the next service station. Well, it's not actually going to be a service station, is it? Because we're going to a town. How long will it take to get to here? Okay, so there's a service station just outside of Reno. Hopefully we'll be able to make that in four hours. Once again, I'm not completely sure. It's just a gamble. Now we should get a nice little paycheck for this because we're actually crossing states. The insurance company for some reason want it in San Francisco. Well, actually, I'm going to assume it's going back to the actual trucking company, which I believe, if I change view, yes, it's Swift. See it on the back of the truck there? So Swift want this back at their depot, obviously. Now this isn't actually my first American Truck Simulator video. It's the first one on this channel, but I used to upload them to my old channel. But seeing as I have a new channel called Simulate Gaming for simulators, it makes a lot more sense to have it on this channel, I would say. So that's what we're going to do. Okay, so a little bit more about this mod in case you guys are wondering. This is the vanilla W900. The only thing that's different is the back. You actually add the back. It's basically a chassis that you download. So you buy the normal truck, and then you just put the chassis on the back. Come on! Come on! Okay, so we're finally moving again. I've literally only just come from that junction. We were there for ages. Uh, traffic was going slow for some reason, but... Yeah, here we are. So if you probably already guessed, because we're driving through it right now, we did decide to go for the actual truck stop as opposed to sleeping in Reno. I think it'd be a bit more convenient because uh, the motel wasn't actually on the way. We had to go a different way and then we'd have to come back on ourselves. So we're going to go and hopefully stay at the truck stop. Yes, I know you're tired. That's what we're talking about now. Stop yawning. Okay, so the truck stop is coming up right now. You see I've already set a marker on the GPS to remind me, because I'm useless. So we're going to quickly come into here. Do we, need, we don't need petrol, we, a diesel, sorry, we filled off on that just before we left, if you remember. I'm going to go this way though, because I don't want to risk getting stuck. And this is actually my favourite kind of truck stop. These are the ones with the uh, TVs and stuff that you can put in your window. What one should we take? This one. Yes, we're at a truck stop. Stop yawning. Right, moment of truth. How badly have we parked? Let's have a look. Well, well we didn't actually do that bad, but we are miles away from the barrier. Let's try that. That's much better. 
bit longer than our usual load, don't forget, because we have the length of the our truck and then we have the actual truck on the back, so we're a bit longer than usual. But that should be good. So we're going to turn off our engine, make sure our lights are off, and we're going to go ahead and have a nap. Okay, everybody, good morning. It is now 10 to 6 in the morning, and we are ready to hit the road again. Think about maintenance costs there. We just paid $916. I didn't read the rest of it, but think about costing me money, which is always a good sign. So let's uh, carry on with our journey. Now, according to the GPS, well, it's currently hidden, but let's back out of here first. Basically, those yellow tubes hanging down there. Stop here. In real life, they have like aircon, heaters, TV stuck to them. Uh, you can charge your USB hubs, you can run your truck off power, like using actual power lines as opposed to your actual engine, which is pretty cool. And all you have to do is buy a mount for the window from the shop, which costs about $10, which is nothing, because you only have to buy it once. So we'll head out. Nice wide berth, because we've got a long load. Not wide, just long. Now, how long are we going to be at this junction? That's the question. Okay, so according to our GPS, we have seven hours remaining on this journey before we give them their truck back. Looking at the truck, I don't think it's a write-off. But it's definitely going to cost them a few bob, that's for sure. That's... Oh, you idiot. This could be dangerous. I'm not sure how much this truck weighs. We probably should have weighed up before we came. So let's pull into here and see what they want. How much do we weigh? 18 tons. Well, that's nothing at all. That's really light, actually. Considering there's that technically two trucks on this load, and then a really heavy wrecker back. Oh yeah, we got momentum up again now. We are hauling it. Excuse me, but we're lighter than you. Nice area, this, so I assume we're back in California. Actually, no, we've still got 80 speed limit, so I'm going to assume we're still in possibly Nevada. No, I really want to go into this lane, but we're going to overtake this truck before we do that. We'll leave the Cadillac. Now we're in California. Jeez. That was pretty instant. And I'm also in the wrong lane. Oh, yeah, we're in Truckee. I know where Truckee is. I really do need to get into that lane though, truck, so if you could possibly move the hell out of the way. He's turned off, that's good for us. And we'll set, as soon as we're in California, we'll just set our cruise control into 55. And we'll relax. Welcome to Sacramento. So we are now about four and a half hours away. I need to get switch lanes. Thank you. So yeah, we are just passing through Sacramento now, so it shouldn't be that long until we get there. We've got four hours left on our journey. How long do we need to rest? We have 11 hours before we have to rest, so plenty of time. So we should have their truck back. Swift should have their truck back by the time we have to go back and rest. Hopefully we don't get stuck in traffic or anything, because that will put a spanner in the works. Speaking of spanner, they're going to need a couple on that truck. Now, if you're watching this and you live in California, no offense to you guys, but your speed limits are absolute bullcrap. Why are we doing 55 on a motorway this big? Or, what's it called in America? Freeway this big. The UK's motorways are smaller than this, and the speed limit's 70, so... <laughs> yeah, that's always good. That's probably an undercover cop there, so it's a good job we are doing the speed limit. Okay, so we are coming off the freeway now. Uh, we're going... Oh, no, there's that the undercover cop in front of us. 
I've got a feeling that's an undercover cop in front of us. Now we do actually need some diesel. So, hopefully, this gas station here is open. It is open. Let's just hope we can get our truck through there without crashing. Yeah, we definitely need some gas, so we're going to pull into here. Nice and slow. Screw the people behind us, they can wait. Safety first. We're coming wide. There we go. Nice and slow. Just watching out for the truck in the mirror there. Make sure the back truck doesn't crash. There we go. It's actually stopped raining so we can turn the wipers off. And we'll fill up for a second time. Okay, so we are fully fueled now. Um, I'm not sure what that is on the back. Um, obviously, we don't have this type of truck in the UK. I think it's a Freightliner we're towing. But I'm sure you've all played Dural Truck Simulator before. That's basically what the trucks we have in the UK. Not big stuff like this. There we go. Thank you very much. Get out of here. Oh, there's a car coming. So the only difference between track IR and what I'm using, the head tracking, is I can't lean forward, which is a shame. I've already said that this video, but that means I can't do anything for the mirrors either. It'd be nice to lean forward and look out the mirrors, but whatever. See, California makes no sense. This road here that we're on right now, this should be... Look at that car. Jeez! Why are you on the wrong side of the road? Did you see that? He's actually on the wrong side of the road. Speaking of which, we are at the toll booth now for San Francisco, so we're on the home straight. Still raining a little bit, actually. Hello, Mr. Man. I would like to get into your city, please. $25? Jeez! Robbing me blind. Should have told Swift they can pick their truck up from the toll booth. There's that dodgy trailer again. That will be fixed. Jeez, what are you doing? Oh, it's me in the wrong. <laughs> Whoopsie. Don't know why we've still got our uh, jake brake on. I need to get into that lane. So please hurry up, car. Our customer expects delivery very soon. Yes, do not worry about us. How long have we actually got left? Remains one hour until it has to be delivered. And we are only... Oh, we aren't. It's going to be close. This is going to be close. Now, I really need that lane. Can you please hurry up? Jeez. Move out the way. Dang it. Thank you. I bet that was a woman. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> uh, so welcome to San Francisco. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Never been here in real life. It's on my bucket list, though. Definitely on my bucket list. Oh, my God. There's so much nice cars over here. That looks like the uh, Sabre from GTA. I'm pretty sure that's what they based it off, but that actually looks exactly like it. Usually, Rockstar like to be a bit more different so they don't get done for copyright, but that's identical. That looks like a Sabre. Come on. Can we make it? Ah, oh, you idiot. Can we turn right... I'm still getting used to the American turn right rule. I think the rule is, if there's no sign, if nothing's coming, you can possibly go. Let's test this out. If I get a ticket, then so be it. Oh my gosh, I got, I got it right. I'm still learning that rule. So if you are, in fact, not even if you're from California or America, if you are from anywhere and you know the rule, please tell me in the comments below because I really want to know the exact ruling. Okay, everybody, so just around this corner is our drop-off location. Now, I don't know if it's the Swift headquarters or a garage they've arranged us to drop it to. It's actually a gas station. Not sure why we're delivering a wrecked truck to a gas station, but <laughs> there we go. This is going to be interesting. Why are we doing this? I have no idea. Okay, so we're obviously going to go for the proper parking. This should be interesting because I haven't played American Truck Simulator 
for a long, long, long time. So this could go horribly wrong. See if we can get around this corner without scraping. We'll just blame it on the crash if we do. I'm joking. That'd be the wrong thing to do. Now, I do actually need to go into the road, so we're going to put our hazard lights on. Come on, let me go. The quicker you let me go, the quicker we can get out your way. So, Okay, everybody, so slight change of plan. I'm just straightening out now, finally. Um, I'm going to be doing this in third person. I'm not going to make up excuses. I just, I'm, I'm a bit rusty. I haven't played this for a long time. So, we're just going to be doing it in third person. That's the excuse I'm giving. At least I'm not going to lie and say that, make up excuses, basically. We did hit that sign. That's fine. Once I said, I'm still getting back used to this again. Getting used to it again. But in third person, that was perfect. So, we'll apply the handbrake. We'll go back into first person. Read these mirrors. It was late. It was late. But we had no damage. And they only took... Is that 96? Why is that colour? My screen doesn't like that colour. Is that 96? I can't even see. But that's nothing. Nothing really. Okay, everybody, so that is us for today. We have delivered the truck. I don't know why they want it at a gas station, but each to their own. Once again, I'm still pr uh, getting used to this again. It's been a long time. For the next episode, I'm going to paint my truck finally, because I think we've earned enough money now to actually paint it. If you did enjoy, let me know in the comments below to keep so I can keep doing more American Truck Simulator. Slap that thumbs up button once again if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you want to see more. If you're one of my subscribers, Farm Simulator will be next. I've been Simulate Gaming, and I'll see you next time.